Hello and welcome to this video. So in this video, we are going to discuss about the 50 lucky winners of this giveaway contest. So we have got this idea of giveaway from a comment uh, on a random video. Someone suggested us that we should start with a giveaway program. So we have started it. That means all your ideas and your views are important to us. We take all the comments very seriously and we work on it. We want to do a lot with community, with the, all your suggestions, with all your help. We have come till here. So you all are a lot important to us. So thank you so much for being connected to us. And this video is for you, those who have participated in our contest. So this time we have got a lot of comment, a lot more than what we have expected this time. So we are going to select 50 winners from the comment section. Those who have commented using the hashtag Hacktify giveaway, which is what we have suggested into the rules section. So this is how we are going to shortlist all the winners. So we didn't want it to make this pre-decided. We didn't want it to make the list and just show you. We wanted to make it live so that no partiality has been done between any of the winner. So what we are going to do is we are going to use a software which is going to pick any random comments and using those comments, we are going to declare the winner's list. So this is what the plan of today's video is. So let's get started and all the very best to all the users who have participated as well as those who are not going to select this time. Maybe they can reapply for the next time because we are going to come back again with more number of courses, giveaways, or maybe it can be goodies, swags. Uh, it can be anything. Uh, stay connected on our YouTube channel. We'll be posting everything live here. Or maybe you can follow me and Rohit on LinkedIn. We keep on posting about such things online. So over to you, Rohit. Let's get started with this video. Thank you so much, Shifa, uh, for the great introduction. And first of all, guys, really believe me, I'm really, very happy for such an overwhelming response that we have got for the giveaway. And uh, it was actually very difficult for us uh, to keep it restricted to 50 courses giveaway only because we wanted to give it to every one of you. So we are going to do a 50 course giveaway this time without taking further of your time. Let's quickly start and let's see who are the lucky winners because I am as much as excited as you are. So am I. Yes. Okay, so this was the video that was posted. Let's quickly go to YouTube random picker. All right, so perfect. Here we need to put the YouTube contest options, the YouTube video URL. So let me just pick it from here and paste it over here. And you can see filter duplicate users. We do not want uh, for people who have posted or commented twice. Let's remove them first. And let's say filter comment based on specific test. As, as you mentioned already, Hi. you need to have the hashtag that was Hactify give away. In case you have not used this hashtag, you are disqualified and the software will not pick your comment automatically. So let's click on get YouTube comments and let's hope how many comments are there. Perfect. So we have 120 comments. So awesome. Let's quickly hit on the start button and let's see who is the first lucky winner. All right. So it has started. And the first lucky winner is Yash. Yash Sharma. Yeah. Congratulations, Yash Sharma. Uh, so let's also read the comment that he has posted on. So the question that we asked was, what was your first bug and uh, any bounty that if you have received for your bug? So my first bug was email verification bypass at Hacker1. And I got a friendly Hacker batch for this. Uh, it's awesome. Congratulations for your first bug and congratulations for being the first lucky winner. So guys, in the meanwhile, in the video, I'm also going to add the name of the lucky winners into a list. Uh, in case we 
need to send the invites of the courses to these users. And one more thing, uh, which is important that we are going to send invites to these users onto their social media handles. That is whatever is posted, if, if it's LinkedIn or if it's Twitter, in case we are not able to reach you, maybe if due to some reasons, maybe if there's a spelling mistake or any such reason. So what we have decided mutually, me and Shifa is that we are going to create a WhatsApp group. You can just simply join that WhatsApp group. We will provide the link into the description and then you can claim your uh, free giveaway. If you are the winner, we will verify first and then you can take your course. All right, so without further talking, let's see who is the second lucky winner. So let's click on pick another winner. So what do you think, Shifa? Would it be a girl or a boy? So it's a Arjun, boy. Arjun, yes, again a boy. Okay. So his first bug was subdomain takeover, which is uh -huh. very interesting on a hacker one program. Again, uh, super exciting. So they marked it as informative. Uh, so he did not got any bounty uh, no issues at all so this bug while discussing now we are going to give you a bounty that is a giveaway free giveaway of the course so many congratulations arjun so yeah, let's so, quickly go to yeah. yes so one thing that i would like to mention to all of our views, viewers is subdomain takeover uh, indeed is a security issue it is counted as a P3 level vulnerability on Buck Crowd as well as Hacker One. But one thing that you need to remember and keep in mind is the subdomain that you have identified to be vulnerable or taken over should be a critical subdomain. So it depends on the target program as well. And if they think the subdomain that you have identified is not that critical or does not hold a lot of importance, they may not give you a bounty and put it as informative or even low. So that has happened many times. So uh, just to keep in mind that this happens. Uh, let's pick another winner, Shifa. So what do you say this time? A girl. <laughs> it's a okay, boy so it's again. A boy. So Manik Koirala, if I'm saying your name right. So the first book, Shifa. Okay, so the first bug was open redirect on private nice. program at HackerOne. Okay, so a lot of users are active on HackerOne and have got mm -hmm. first bug on HackerOne, which is indeed a great thing. So he got $20 as a bounty. Great. Congratulations, Manik. And here is the ID Twitter. Yeah, so congratulations for your first book that was open redirect and uh, the bounty. Let's discuss a bit about open redirect Rohit so that we can make this video as well the informative video so that the ones who are connecting yeah. can learn something out of this video. Absolutely. So open redirect is a vulnerability guys in which any target web application if insecurely redirects to the attacker control domain, then it is considered as open redirect. Now, what is the impact of open redirect? So in impact, it can be that if the user is going to get redirected onto the attacker controlled domain, he may end up giving his credentials or he may end up logging in into the attacker control domain. So mostly there is kind of uh thought like phishing uh so mostly it is closely related to phishing attacks in which identity thefts are possible all right so moving ahead this time also again it is going to be a, a boy, boy. <laughs> awesome so ben congratulations for being the winner uh this is very interesting comment i have read in the comment section yeah. so uh, i have already seen this comment early so the the bug is very interesting it seems very interesting that is into the firmware analysis of the camera and he have found hard coded credentials which allowed the user to connect okay Oops. which allowed the user to connect to one of the portal 
he has not received any bounty but a cbe assigned for it so many congratulations to you ban and rohit we can again copy the handle sure. he has yeah. not mentioned whether it is twitter or linkedin next time make sure that you mention up uh, that you are going to add the social media yeah. so we don't have to go on to every portal and maybe search you over there uh, still yeah. congratulations uh, we'll find out the way to connect to you ban yes exactly it becomes much more easier for us to identify you on which platform you are uh, okay. all right so uh congratulations for getting a cve for our users who do not know what a cve is so cve stands for common vulnerability exposure which is a numeric alpha numeric uh digits or it is a id which is assigned to a unique vulnerability that is identified into any software or any product so in case you uh, stumble upon any vulnerability into any software or product you can report it and you can also get a cv awesome let's pick another winner girl so it's a boy hirin so the comment is first bug was this girl participate in this giveaways or something so i, I have know. seen there are few girls into the comment uh, let's hope shepa you will get a chance just wait so the first bug was xss uh don't know for why for which reasons it is uh, na maybe it could be a uh, uh, self xss or maybe xss into a very very uh, low asset domain that's why okay so no issues congratulations we are here to appreciate you and you have won this course so let me just quickly Could you please copy that twitter as well yeah that okay so congratulations to saur jeet isn't it so the first bug that he identified was violation of secure design principles and i received a 250 dollars awesome okay so congratulations sarjit and your instagram id is very very cool i can see a smiley face in there nice did you notice this <laughs> yeah okay so let's move ahead and let's hope it's a boy again bhargav krishna so the comment is i have gotten i haven't gotten a first bug yet and my twitter is this and thanks for the giveaway so uh, you're welcome bhargav and congratulations we hope that you get your first bounty very soon okay okay next lucky winner is anil my first bug was stored xss in a private program and they rewarded with dollar 200 awesome congratulations anil and uh, let's read the comment my first bug was stored xss in a private program and they rewarded with dollar 200 awesome congratulations anil so let's quickly really understand about what is stored xss so first of all xss stands for cross site scripting it has three different types reflected stored and dom so in stored xss whenever the attacker inputs his arbitrary javascript it gets saved into the server in let's suppose any of the forms for example edit profile or let's say any comment box so somewhere it is getting saved into the server so basically it is getting stored into the server and whenever the user or any admin or customer support or anyone visits there it gets executed so this is stored xss it's a really very dangerous type of issue that has been identified okay but i can see shifa there is no social media handle so for users like like this who have not added the social media handles it becomes very difficult for us to reach you no issues uh, we Uh, are going to add the WhatsApp group invite so you can get added into that. Okay. I so request you to connect it on the same day because we will not be available to give you at the time. Ah, uh, you come maybe after a week or so because we are going to take you all. We are going to give you all the free coupons in one day itself. 
So make sure to check this video out as soon as possible and try to connect us those who have not mentioned their handles. Otherwise, our team will get in touch with you, all those who have mentioned along with the name of the social platform the ID belongs to. So, yeah. Moving ahead. Go ahead, I can see. Yeah. yeah. So, Shadow. Uh, we don't know if this is a boy or a girl because it's a shadow. It's a shadow. <laughs> All right. So, the comment is first bug was session hijacking. Awesome. A uh, bug which is less identified by security researchers. Reporting while learning myself. So I have reported on Cisco and just received a thank you. I'm getting duplicates, submitting vulnerabilities, but all duplicates. No issues, Deepak. Uh, I can see your name is Deepak, so it's a boy. <laughs> okay. Congratulations. So these are called as OSINT tricks. Okay, so Deepak, congratulations. Uh, for finding out your first book and congratulations for being a lucky winner over here. Let me just copy your name and we can go ahead. Let's pick another winner. Balaji. Oh, a very long comment. Shifa, would you please? Good morning, sir. First of all, you are doing such a great work for the people who are struggling to pay for the fee. Uh, piece of the education. Thanks a lot, sir. Uh, thank you so much, Balaji. Uh, this was never our idea. Someone gave us this idea and then we uh, implemented that idea. So we request you, if you have any suggestion, any random thought, just mm -hmm. give it a comment because we do read your comment and we try implementing it as much as we can. Mm -hmm. So thank you so much for the uh, user who have uh, suggested about this idea. Okay, so uh, my first bug is sensitive data exposure. Nice. Uh, nothing getting uh, get even reply uh, in mail, but I'm not disappointed. Then I register your version one course and complete it. Now practicing for finding critical bugs. Awesome. Two, my LinkedIn profile is this. Okay, so I'm so happy, sir, when I'm overthinking about your course, how to buy this. And in that time, such a wonderful move, sir. Awesome. So I appreciate, first of all, for identification of bugs. If you are not, so uh, identification of bugs and do not worry if people have not acknowledged, do not worry, we are here to acknowledge you and we understand the importance of putting efforts in identification of vulnerabilities and securing the infrastructure everywhere. So congratulations, Balaji, and we hope that after learning from the version two of the course, you may learn a lot and identify a lot of vulnerabilities. All right, so next lucky winner is root engineer. We do not know if this is a boy or a girl again. So I was able to clone the course content from a paid course, okay? And able to access web pages offline by removing JavaScript redirects from the source code. Basically it was a misconfiguration in the Apache server, not rewarded by money, but confidence was the biggest one, absolutely. Uh, the feeling that you get when you identify a valid bug is just simply amazing and which cannot be expressed in my or your words. It is just a feeling. Okay, so your Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, okay, is this. So let me just copy and paste it over here. And again, congratulations. Moving ahead, guys. So Abida Almas, okay. So congratulations, your first bug was subdomain takeover, but it was duplicate, unfortunately. Still learning and trying to explore more. This course would be really helpful to me, LinkedIn, Abida, Sharif. Okay, congratulations, Abida. I just have a doubt, how can subdomain takeover vulnerability be duplicate? Maybe if I have taken the subdomain, then it is not available for someone to claim, right? Well, okay, so I don't know, maybe it can be possible. Uh, let's see what you guys think into the comment section. Moving ahead. Okay, so uh, next winner is Lucifer. My first book was SPF, Sander Policy Framework, the DMARC issue. I got appreciation letter for that. Uh, boundary, okay. I don't know what is boundary, but congratulations for getting the appreciation letter. 
Twitter is this. So let's quickly Maybe copy this. Maybe she is still trying for bound P, so it's bound cry. <laughs> oh, <laughs> awesome! It was really very deep to understand. Okay, so you are trying for. I'm not sure. Or? Maybe it can be a spell error. No, it's bound try. Guys, he's trying for bound. Nice. Okay, so the next winner is Leonidas. Leonidas. Okay, so Leonidas. We uh, can call him Leo. Let's call him Leo. Yeah. Apologize for that. Okay. So my first bug was an IDOR insecure direct object reference. Clearly remember that I was super excited to find the bug, and the company gave me a gift card of dollar hundred for finding the bug. Awesome. Um, very good. So for our viewers who do not know what is IDOR, IDOR stands for insecure direct object reference, in which you are able to call an instance of, let's say, another profile or anything which you are not authorized to see. And if you're able to view that sensitive data, then it is a valid IDOR vulnerability. Awesome. I still recall that these types of vulnerabilities are very common. And a lot of security researchers on HackerOne really like to find good IDORs. Okay, so our next lucky winner is Tutorial Plus. Okay, parameter tempering and change the amount. The site don't have a bug bounty program or RDP, so I don't get so I don't get any replies till now. My tutor profile is Cyberploit. Awesome bug, parameter tempering and changing the amount. Uh, but unfortunately, the program did not have a bug bounty program. So no problem. We are here to appreciate you and congratulations on winning this giveaway. So we hope you learn a lot and you find a lot of parameter tempering works in future to in those programs who actually have a bug bounty program. God, please girl coding fun. I am a complete beginner in cybersecurity would definitely learn. No work so far. Social media handle Instagram. Okay. Temporary account Insta. A very nice uh, username. Okay. So congratulations, Coding Fun, for winning this giveaway. Let's move ahead quickly. Naveen, congratulations. New to Bug Bounty, and but I will found in upcoming days. I hope your courses will definitely help me. Absolutely, Naveen, we wish you all the best and best wishes for your future. Let's see who's the next lucky winner, Root Engineer. So this one is repeated, I guess. This is repeated. Yeah. Read so, it. Filter duplicate users. I don't know. Maybe he is very much lucky. OK, so let's skip this user. Rahul Sagvekar, congratulations. You are the winner for this. So my first bug was no rate limit attack. Unfortunately, it was a duplicate bug. Okay, so for people who do not know what is no rate limit. So now in no rate limit type of attacks, an attacker can use this to send large number of requests. And maybe an example could be using a coupon code multiple times. So uh, race condition attacks is also very much associated with no rate limit attacks. And you can read about it. It's a awesome category of, or a class of vulnerabilities that are also uh, found on many bug bounty programs. All right, moving ahead. Let's say, who is this? Technique, technique. Okay, so OTP bypass, it was a duplicate. No issues, but still a good find. Nikhil, let's pick another user. Guru Hari Haran, Haron. Guru, Guru. So, okay, to be honest, I'm really new to this bug bounty concept since I couldn't able to find any particular way to get started, but somehow I tried and found it one bug that is XSS, but unfortunately that's out of scope crying emoji. I'm trying to learn myself a lot from YouTube videos, but bug bounty and yes, I am a newbie to this. So congratulations for uh, 
being into bug bounties and you have thought that you're going to identify bugs in the future. So yes, you will definitely. And I hope my course is going to help you a lot in identifications of new class of vulnerabilities. Let's move ahead. Ramya Rai. So maybe I think this is a girl. Uh, you can reach out to our WhatsApp group. Okay, so let's quickly move ahead. And Pradyum Verma, congratulations. Uh, reflected exercise, it was and is on an e-shopping website. I reported and submitted POC to them. They never acknowledged back. Oh, I'm really sorry about that. And no issues. The main thing is that you keep reporting vulnerabilities to program and just choose your targets that contain a bug bounty program or at least a responsible vulnerability disclosure program. So this won't happen. Okay, Om. Mew. No work till now, still searching for the first one in star Twitter. Congratulations, Om. And we hope that our course helps you. Shushan didn't found anything till now. Twitter is this, no issues. We wish you all the best and congratulations for winning this giveaway. We hope that you identify a lot of bugs in future. So Chikusha, Chik, Chikush, Chikusai. Sai. Hmm. My Simple. first bug is SQL injection in my university website. They just look, they just took the information from me and blocked my IP address. Ooh, instead of collaborating. So I tried to mail them back and they decided not to reply to my mails. Bad. I would love to learn more and build up my methodology for bug bounty hunting. Good. We are happy that you are motivated and excited, and we hope that you learn a lot from our courses. Again, congratulations, uh, Chiku Sai or Sai Krishna. Okay, so let's move ahead. Ayaz, first bug, no rate limit, but sadly got duplicated, no issues. Your contact is a Gmail ID. All right. So congratulations, Ayaz, on being the winner on this. Okay, let's pick another web. Ayaz, the mail IDs. Nerd hacker. My first book was XSS. Found it on a private program. I got a bounty of hundred dollar. Congratulations, nerd hacker, or hacker Vishal. And uh, we hope you find a lot of vulnerabilities in future. Congratulations, Herschel. Uh, my first bug was authentication bypass, but the company never responded to me for acknowledgement. Really sad about that. But as I already said, that you should identify vulnerabilities into those companies which already have a program. So that becomes much more easier to contact them and to get acknowledged. But still, no issues. Congratulations. All right, so let's move ahead. Pick another winner and uh, Honey, the gamer YouTube. Oh, Congratulations, honey. Shifa. So <laughs> the bug was XSS. Nice. No, no, reward. no issues. We hope that you get a lot of vulnerabilities in future. I think she has not um, mentioned. Mention. No issues. Honey, uh, the gamer YouTube, uh, please get in touch with us to claim your uh, giveaway course. Congratulations. Okay, Nitesh Bival, I just started bug bounty one month ago and I have reported one bug only that is session fixation and I got duplicated. So still learning and my LinkedIn prof profile is this. Congratulations Nitesh for identification of your first bug that was session fixation. And we hope that you learn a lot and identify more and more vulnerabilities. And this course helps you a lot. And Sumit, uh comment is i haven't found it any book officially i faced a bug in netmeds and i used it i used it i earned some reward money okay so very bad 
okay so maybe we are misunderstanding that you used it and earned some reward money maybe uh, you got acknowledged or don't know okay still congratulations Swith, for identification of this bug and i think you have not given any of your social media handles so please get in touch with us into the whatsapp group congratulations again okay so the next user is shadat hussain my first bug was no rate limit on forgot password and i got duplicated sadly my twitter profile is this so guys uh one thing that i would like to mention is uh whenever you are identifying no rate limit types of bug uh do not choose forgot passwords and try to spam a lot of emails into your inbox most of the programs right now on crowdsource platforms like bug crowd hacker or integrity actually do not accept these types of bugs because it does have a very limited security impact or no impact so try to escalate your work and try to identify no rate limit on those areas or those sections wherein you are able to increase the overall severity of the vulnerability so this is just one tip to every one of you okay so moving ahead we have rahul shaw my first bug was cross site scripting in dell portal it got duplicate twitter handle is this so congratulations rahul and yes guys uh, for practicing vulnerabilities you can just go on bug crowd there is a, a dell program which is only kudos and find but yeah it's good for starting and you may end up finding a lot of vulnerabilities so you can consider it as your playground and practice okay so our next lucky winner is raj my first bug was click jacking issue didn't get any bounty yet no issues so for our you viewers who do not know what is click jacking click jacking is a vulnerability in which the attacker is able to load the victim's web application into a iframe so now you should understand whenever you identify a click jacking based vulnerability into any program you should not directly report it you should try to increase the severity of your vulnerability so the best thing that you can do whenever you have identified a click jacking based vulnerability is identify a sensitive entry point or a sensitive action so the best thing that you can do is identify a sensitive action like delete account or something like that which makes the overall severity more of this click jacking based vulnerability so raj we have added the click jacking issues into our this latest course and i have also shown you how you can increase the impact of click jacking based vulnerabilities we have also shown over tools that we have created which makes the overall process much more faster and smoother for you to identification of bugs and to create proof of concepts moving ahead congratulations mihir my first bug was xss on jira subdomain of a target and for that i got 50 dollar congratulations twitter handle is this so let me just add it over here let's pick a new winner and uh, mr dharmveer singh my first bug is hcl is an hcl sorry it's an open redirect with xss okay chaining of issues but the thing is after reporting i realized that i missed xss part basically it's my first bug in a big company so i'm so excited for that thank you for your first course sir you're welcome one more bug is in gana.com but it is a simple rate limit but which i learned from your first course now your public profile is this so congratulations and i'm happy actually shifa that people are learning from our courses and they are implementing it into bug bounty programs isn't it so much exciting it is yeah shifa so uh, what do you think that uh, a lot of students they also message me in personal they also must be messaging you in personal that i have heard from you a lot of times so what do you think they are uh they are getting benefit out of our courses at least the first one yes they are learning a lot from our courses i get daily messages as well as you can see on our linkedin profile that i get a lot of mentions from students someone have got reward of xyz amount uh, so i am getting a lot of mentions on my linkedin profile a lot of personal messages 
thanking you and me for creating such a content so we are so happy that you liked our training and you want to learn more and more we can see from the comment section that a lot of people are so excited to participate in this giveaway contest so thank you so much all for uh, just giving your time and input to our courses as well as to the youtube channel yeah, and by the way, Shifa, they also tagged me and I was just pulling your leg. <laughs> so moving ahead, let's see who's our next lucky winner. Optimus Prime. So my first book was Reflected Excesses. Awesome. I didn't get any bounty for that as it was a non rewardable so program. It's sad that so many students have not got bounty for their first book, which is very, very bad. Uh, we request you to search on the program who have hosted a proper bug bounty program or maybe they have their private uh, responsible vulnerability disclosure program. Try to hunt on those website. Uh, then we have game buzz again mm -hmm. stored XSS. Okay, That's into a Dutch government. You might have got a cool t shirt. Uh, Okay, swag is still pending, so you are about to get a cool T-shirt from them. Uh, I hacked the Dutch government, and, and I, all I got yes. was this lousy T-shirt. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's super cool. Thing. Yeah, so let's move ahead. Muhammad Shabib. Muhammad Shabib. The bug was okay. ODB bypass. Didn't got any reply from the company. The companies are so rude these days. <laughs> Oh, still no issues. Uh, I have already mentioned, guys, identify vulnerabilities into those programs which runs a bug bounty program. Uh, chances of getting acknowledged increases. Let's pick another one. Nerd hacker, I think. Repeated. Yeah, we did it. Don't know why are we getting duplicate users. Okay, Sajid so the next one is Ali. Sajid Ali. First book was okay, excesses. Book was excesses. Fifty dollars for it. Great. Congratulations. And Twitter handle is easy. <laughs> easy. It is easy. Uh -uh. Easy. <laughs> so, um, difficult name. Who will pronounce? So the An name is Anvarasan <laughs> M. Uh, I'm really sorry if. Uh, I'm not able to pronounce it correctly. Let me call you Cybertron07. Okay, so congratulations, Cybertron07. I'm new to Bug Bounty, so purchased your Bug Bounty one. Nice. And started learning. Surely in future, I will get any bugs and bounty. I will inform you. Absolutely. We would be delighted and very happy in case you get any bounty. Do not forget to mention us because we actually get very, very happy to hear about from all of you that yes, we are doing something good for you and you are actually getting bounties out of that. Okay, moving ahead. When you earn it excites us more than we yes. earning it. So it's a great thing that you do mention us. Yes, Sharma is the repeated one, I feel. Yeah. So again, repeat it. Is this repeated? Okay. New. My first book was Blind Exercise. Abhijit. Yeah. Abhijit. Congratulations. Mark any because the domain at which it fired was not in scope. Sad. So no bounty. No bounty. Okay. So for make our... sure that you look for the scope and then you start hunting on it out of excitement maybe you hunt for everything but then everything is not in scope all the while so make sure to look into the scope but then just finding bugs is also important to practice yourself so it's a good thing that you have reported congratulations abhi and uh, for our viewers who do not know what is blind excesses, I have explained blind excesses into my first course. Uh, excesses which fires onto their domain, but you are not, but you do not know it immediately. It may get fired at a later point of time. And the most important thing to notice over here is you do not get a, a immediate response onto your browser. 
that it has fired or no. So this is blind XSS. Okay, so let's move ahead. So uh, congratulations, Kaur. Shifa. So our next winner is Threeman Kaur. New to bug bounty, so still on the way to finding my first ever bug and receiving my first bounty. I have been able to identify some vulnerable subdomains by following your YouTube videos and webinars with OWASP, but I'm confused about what to do next. Your course could possibly help me with it. Uh, of course, we wish you uh, luck in identification of bugs and have a great learning experience with us. All right, let's move ahead. Anugra SR. My first bug at Google. Awesome. A login panel with username and password already there in placeholder. Okay. Um, a login panel with username and password already there in placeholder. Okay. Okay. Maybe I didn't get it. Uh, so guys, you can, um, in the description, let me know what is this issue or maybe Anugra himself can let us know what is this issue. Maybe it is something new. Uh, people will know about it, but I can see it is intended behavior. Okay, no issues about that. Congratulations, Anugra, for winning this giveaway. Let's move ahead. So, Samarth, I started learning since last four months and my first bug was XSS. In turn to duplicate, also I found CSRF and it got and got three duplicate and two NA. The course may help me find my first valid bug. Twitter, the meteor. Congratulations, Samarth, on identification of the bugs and congratulations on winning this giveaway. Bhuvan Jain, Bhuvan Jain. My first bug was reflected XSS on a program in Buck Crowd. Awesome. It was a duplicate submission, so I didn't got any bounty. LinkedIn is this. Okay, so we have already discussed about what is a reflected XSS. So we still have six entries left. Okay, let's see who are the last six lucky winners. Gaurav, my first bug was SQLI over our newly launched college website as a part of internal pen test. I didn't receive any bounty for that. They weren't having any RVDP programs offered by my college at that time. Okay, so congratulations for identification of your first bug into your college website itself. And that too- and Then um, still college teachers, principals will have a different look and perspective towards you for identifying this vulnerability. So when you find out vulnerabilities in your college and you are studying into the college, is, uh, college itself, there is no reward more than the respect you get from your teachers, your principals. So many congratulations to you, Gaurav. And I would encourage other students to participate, uh, not to harm your own website, I would say, but at least to test and find out some valid vulnerabilities and help them fix the issue. So maybe you won't get any reward, but then the respect that you get is much more important than uh, some money, I would say. Rightly said, Chifa. So let's pick another nerd hacker. I think this, is this person is super lucky. Third time. Even this person, I think. <laughs> so super lucky winners. Congratulations. AJ. AJ. First book, RFI, remote file inclusion. So what is RFI? Uh, so in RFI, basically the hacker is able to load arbitrary files from his controlled server and execute those files into the vulnerable server. So if you have identified RFI into any web application, then you may get a lot of access to the application. So it's a good find. I didn't report it because I didn't know what to do next. So after watching some tutorials on YouTube, I found the privilege escalation, but till then they fixed it. Yeah, so as I said, you can escalate the bug, but till then they fixed it. So, uh, so sad about that. No, no worries, till you learn. Yeah. Let's add him to our list. Let's pick another one. And Jayant, my first bug was rate limit where I was able to brute force the password. Nice. Uh, no social media handle. Any handle. 
no Please issues. Connect you can to us. Yeah, you can connect to us. Okay, so next one, I think this is repeated. Oh, we are getting so I many asked. repeated entries. So, so one, Garai, if I took your name right, my first work was XFF, I submitted, but did not get any bounty. I was able to get pop-up of document.domain and some basic payload using alert. My Twitter profile is this, awesome. Congratulations uh, for identification of the issue. Okay, so Shifa, uh, the next one is Vikas. Uh, congratulations. My first valid bug was information disclosure, but no bounty paid. No issues. Congratulations for winning this giveaway. And we hope that you find a lot of fun. We have people. last two winners. Yeah, excited. The last two winners. And the last second winner is Rajesh or Rajesh. My first bug is XSS. Uh, so you are Mr. Techie. Okay, congratulations. And I think, yeah, the last winner, Shifa. And the last, last lucky winner. one will be a girl. <laughs> so, unfortunately, Kulkarni. it's a boy. Pranil. Pranil Kulkarni. Congratulations. You are the last lucky winner. My first bug I reported and received Hall of Fame was for United Nations Women website where I reported server information leakage. So, nice. Congratulations. Okay, so we have finished our top 50 lucky winners. Congratulations to every one of you. I'm very, very happy. And I'm very, very grateful that you guys participated into this giveaways. We hope that our courses help you a lot in identification of more and more bugs. And you can report a lot of bugs into multiple programs and you receive a lot of bounties. Do not forget to mention us when you find a valid vulnerability with the help of our courses. It appreciates us, it motivates us. Uh, it makes us work a lot more harder so that we can bring out more content for you. So do mention, we read all your comments, all your messages. Uh, maybe we are not able to reply you all personally, but then we do take care to read and implement what all you have suggested so far. So keep suggesting, keep supporting. If you like this video, if you like our work, do like, share, comment, and subscribe to this uh, channel. We will be coming more and more to share a lot more knowledge as well as giveaways with you. So we'll be trying to keep it in a regular pattern. We'll think it, we'll figure it out how soon we can come back uh, as soon as we launch our new courses. So we have a lot of plan for you. Uh, so keep supporting and uh, share about this YouTube channel. Keep in touch for all the upcoming updates uh, about the course, about the videos and about everything we are going to do in future for you all. So uh, we are so sorry that we have been late. It's midnight over here in India, but still we didn't want it to delay it much. So we have created this video for you and it's going to be live in some time. So you will be able to see the list of the winners. And we are so happy that you have participated and taken out time for us. Thank you so much. Rohit, you want to say something? Yeah. So at the end, uh, again, thank you everyone. And as Shifa said, we are recording this video late. It's 3.34 a.m. in the morning. Mm -hmm. So at the end, uh, just one last update. Uh, we are going to add the WhatsApp group invite into the description. Only who have won the free giveaway can join the WhatsApp group. Others, do not worry. We are also adding a Telegram li link. We are adding a Telegram group link so you can get added into the Telegram group link and you can ask questions to me to other fellow members or make colleagues over there and you can learn a lot from every one of you so basically it's a win-win situation for every one of us right now and both the guys who have won and who have not won again congratulations thank you very much stay safe take care keep learning thank you Congratulations to all the winners once again. Keep in touch with me and Rohit over LinkedIn and our YouTube channel. Thank you so much for taking our time. Thank you.